Pick me up a bag of jalapeno chips. All right. Jalapeno? What flavor is that? Ricky, Jay Silent. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the snacks that, while they may be delicious, are full of ingredients that aren't things we should be putting into our bodies on any kind of regular basis. It's just a delicious log of joy. Number 10. Gummies. We could start by talking about how the gelatin in most gummy candy is derived from collagen taken from the skin and bones of animals. But while that might be enough for some people to stop eating them, for the rest of us, the amount of sugar and artificial ingredients should at least get us to slow down our inhalation of these bouncy treats. As an example, Starburst Air Gummies have 100 calories and 20 grams of sugar per serving. That's quite a bit, but this is also where we tell you that one serving equals six gummies. When's the last time you ate just six gummies? All I've had to eat for the past six days are gummy bears, jelly beans, and candy corns. God, I wish I had your discipline. Number nine, Cliff Bars. Jillian, where are my Cliff Bars? If you're looking for a protein boost, then there's no doubt that a Cliff Bar can provide it. With 10 grams of protein per bar, that's a solid amount for a quick and easy snack. The problem comes if you're using them as a snack rather than a supplement to your hard workout. And the issue comes in the form of about 250 calories and 17 grams of sugar per bar, which, if you aren't working out hard, is a heck of a lot each. You're saying all this is free? Yeah. Even the Sun Chips? Yep. Yeah. Even the Cliff Bars? Yep. Yeah. Especially if you aren't a regular at the gym, there are many better ways to get your protein without the extra calories and sugar that these bars provide as well. Number 8. Orville Redenbacher's Pour Over Movie Theater Butter Popcorn Look, we get it. For many of us, it's impossible to watch a movie without a bowl of popcorn in front of us. And on its own, popcorn is actually a rather healthy snack choice, with three cups of the stuff providing a solid fiber kick and barely more than 90 calories. However, you'll notice that we're not talking about plain popcorn here. This is Orville Redenbacher's Pour Over Movie Theater Butter Popcorn. Instead of 90 calories, you're looking at 180. And instead of 1.1 grams of fat, Redenbacher's buttered product throws 14 grams at you, along with 330 milligrams of sodium. That's a big difference, and makes sticking to the plain stuff well worth your body's while. Number 7. Hot Pockets While we love Hot Pockets for being the impetus for the classic Jim Gaffigan stand-up routine, we suggest you just watch that bit over and over again every time you have a craving for these unhealthy snacks. I've never eaten a Hot Pocket and then afterwards been, I'm glad I ate that. I'm always like, I'm gonna die. We can start by talking about the enriched flour and processed meats that provide very little, if any, nutritional value. And as for the numbers, it ain't pretty. Each Hot Pocket will fill you with over 300 calories, around 15 grams of fat, and roughly 700 milligrams of sodium. And if your typical snack time is two of them, then just double those numbers. These are high numbers for a full-on meal, let alone a midday nosh. Number 6. Cheetos. If the only issue with Cheetos was the orange fingerprints one leaves everywhere after snack time, then we'd say go for it. T-shirts and couches be damned. But unfortunately, the powdered fingers are the least of our worries when it comes to these puffy snacks. What is that? Cheetos. Crunchy or puffed? Puffed. Wimp. You probably assumed they weren't super healthy given their bright, artificial-looking orange color, and you would be correct. And besides the artificial color yellow 6 listed in their ingredients, you'll also find stuff like monosodium glutamate. Yep, there's MSG in Cheetos. One serving, only 17 Cheetos, also provides you with 160 calories, 10 grams of fat, and 270 milligrams of sodium. Dangerously cheesy indeed. Number 5. Twinkies. The idea that Twinkies and cockroaches would be the only things to survive a nuclear war is just an urban legend, at least as far as Twinkies go. Everyone knows there are only two things that can survive a nuclear holocaust, cockroaches and Twinkies. In their packaging, Twinkies have a shelf life of about 25 days and are not filled with nuclear-level preservatives. However, whether they've been sitting on the shelf for 25 days or 25 years, they are really, really unhealthy. Here, you can have one. No, I'm good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm on a diet. Starting with the 32 grams of sugar per two Twinkies, which shouldn't shock anyone given that the first ingredient on the packaging is sugar. And a little farther down the list is high fructose corn syrup. To that, we can also add 370 milligrams of sodium, 9 grams of fat, 
47 grams of carbohydrates and a whopping 280 calories. I want your sister to lose weight, tell her to get off the couch, stop eating Twinkies, and maybe go out for field hockey. Number four, Pop-Tarts. We totally understand the convenience factor when it comes to a Pop-Tart snack. They're super quick, even quicker if you eat them right out of the packaging, as many do. But we do need to warn you, they are also super unhealthy. To go along with the enriched flour, Pop-Tarts are made with not one, but three kinds of sugar. Corn syrup, refined white sugar, and high fructose corn syrup. One serving of two Pop-Tarts can have between 15 to over 30 grams of sugar, depending on the flavor and whether you choose frosted or unfrosted. But if you're really trying to count calories, unfrosted is definitely the way to go. Okay, Scott says he is not himself in the morning until he has a Pop-Tart. Well, what if they stop making Pop-Tarts? Huh? Number three. Nutella. It isn't exactly surprising that spreadable chocolate isn't healthy for you. But it has nuts in it, so that makes up for it, right? It wasn't me if you asked me, that's what I'ma tell ya. And I'ma eat so much chalk in my blood types Nutella. In fact, it really isn't healthy at all when it comes right down to it. We should start by mentioning that a serving of Nutella is described as one tablespoon and contains 110 calories, 11 grams of sugar, and 6 grams of fat. Now consider how many tablespoons worth you consume in one sitting and multiply those numbers by said amount. That's when things start to get really scary. When his diet crashes and burns into a giant pile of Nutella, I'm the one he's gonna blame. Number two, Oreos. We could argue about the best way to eat an Oreo. Do you dunk it in milk? Do you open it up and eat the cream first? French fries and Oreos. You know me all too well, geez. However, while there are valid arguments on all sides of the how to eat an Oreo debate, there's only one side to the are Oreos healthy conversation, and that side is unfortunately unhealthy. Now, if you can limit yourself to just one single Oreo cookie every now and then, it wouldn't be too terrible, with each cookie containing a little over two grams of fat and just under five grams of sugar. However, along with there being pretty much zero nutritional value to Oreos, for most of us, a typical serving lands closer to one full sleeve than one full cookie. I made one giant Oreo. Luke, what are you doing? You gotta eat it like it's an ear of corn. Genius. Oh. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, potato chips. Potato chips might just be the most popular go-to snack. Careful, they're ruffled. Most of us probably have an open bag of our favorite flavor in the cupboard right now, if not sitting open on the table beside you at this very moment. If you don't stop eating those chips, you won't have any appetite for your lunch. It's true that potato chips are made with potatoes, and potatoes provide nutritional value in the form of vitamin C and potassium, among others. But when it comes to chips, those positives are pretty easily outweighed by the higher than desired fat and sodium numbers. And potato chips are another snack that you really need to pay attention to serving size. What starts out as a simple handful of chips can quickly escalate into whole or multiple bags if you're not careful. Which of these unhealthy snacks are you going to stop eating, and which will you never be able to give up? Let us know in the comments. Well, let's see, I'll have the Caesar salad and the Hot Pocket. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.